back here from the lilac broom. I am not wearing makeup. I have not brushed my hair, but it's all good. Got the cards here. Um, I'm going to grab a bit of breakfast in a few, and then I'm going to come back and take a class that I'm participating in, major depressive disorder, for which I am well medicated. Um, and it's taken years of working with depression medications to find one that works where it does help my symptoms, but also does not impair me from doing what I do with my tarot and my other spiritual work. Um, other ways I've helped to cultivate that is by becoming a Reiki master and just working on spiritual things, meditating. Um, so the class I'm taking today is a peer recovery course that I'm involved with through the National Alliance for Mental Illness. And um, so far it's been good. So I, it's just starting up and it's kind of like a support group but we, we do exercises and we learn from each other and it's really good. And then the other class I'm taking is through um, the School of Practical Psychology out of New York. And it is right now I'm in a course about meditation. It's very exciting. I'm really, really excited about that. But let's do an it's all good reading. Just general energies for um, this particular weekend and what to expect for the last week here of March going into April. And then at some point, hopefully today or maybe tomorrow even, probably maybe tomorrow, I would like to be able to produce and post um, my April uh, card readings for all the Zodiac signs. Okay. All right, guys. Um, like, share, subscribe would be great. I would appreciate it. And general energies. General energies. Got the four of wands reversed, moon reversed, nine of wands. I'm going to call that one row right there. I'm not quite sure how I'm throwing these cards. I'm kind of making it up as I go. Queen of wands reversed, empress reversed, ace of cups reversed, eight of wands reversed, five of cups reversed, and seven of cups, two of wands upright, tower in reverse, king of pentacles upright. Okay, so what I did was I created three rows and I had some reversed cards. So there's a lot of reversals here and wherever the upright cards landed, that was where I, I basically call that the punctuation at the end of the sentence here. So, um, Four, let's start in the top. Four of Wands in reverse, Moon in reverse. That energy is about uncertainty within what would normally be deemed as stable situations. Um, and I don't want to. I don't want to categorize it in a certain way. But like when I see the Four of Wands card, I call that the marriage card. So I'm going to say, you know, this is about some instability in a relationship, in a marriage, in a partnership, in something that's been established already in a family setting, in a work environment. It could be um, on a project, a creative project, a, an organization that you participate with. It could be any of these things. But essentially, whatever it is, you're in a period of instability over the period of time that we're reading for. And that could mean, you know, just has been going on since maybe the full moon. Uh, that is very, very likely. And um, the moon in reverse certainly indicates that that is correct, what I just said, which I said intuitively, but then I remember here we got this moon. Um, but the punctuation at the end of the sentence of this particular situation is the nine of wands upright. And you could tell by this nine of wands upright, this guy is battle weary. He's been carrying a lot of wands. He's been carrying a lot of heavy burdens. And, you know, it looks to me like he's decided which one he needs to hold on to the most strongly. And the rest he is allowing to stand on their own. I don't know what that means. I just channeled that message from this card, guys. However that applies to you, however that feels like it meets your situation, it's kind of like, okay, I've done all this work, I've come all this way, 
I'm going to let these wands stand, but this one here needs a little extra attention. I'm going to hang on to it a little more tightly. Now, this man could be holding on to that one wand kind of tightly because he needs the wand, or he could be holding on to that wand a little more tightly because the wand itself needs a little more support than the others. Or maybe he's still working on that particular wand, whatever it is. So period of instability since the new moon, uh, full moon, and bringing us to bringing um, whoever's hearing this message and it's resonating with, bringing you to a point where you are taking a pause and maintaining. I want to say maintaining. So for some of you might be like trying to lose weight or something and this full moon period has been a little tough. That, that might be for one or two of you. It's kind of like, okay, if I can just make it through this weekend and maintain, maybe you have to go to a function and there's going to be food or maybe you're on a cruise um, where there's food. I don't know, guys. I'm just channeling this, okay? So, all right, next line. Queen of Wands in reverse, Empress in reverse. Right off the bat, we're talking about feminine energy here, moms and women and established females who are feeling a little out of sorts. This Ace of Cups in reverse makes me think right now you're not really feeling the love. You're feeling a disturbance in the force. Now I want to watch Star Wars, guys. Um, bringing us to, you know, because this Ace of Cups in reverse tells me about a reversal of a feeling of love. So, you know, where if you don't feel love, you might feel a lack of love. You might feel unloved. You might feel something like that. Um, bringing us to a, a culmination with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Everything just kind of being out of your hands. Like, look at that picture. Out of your hands, guys. It's out of your hands. You know, I, I just don't think that these um, feminine energies that are in reverse are probably just going through something that has to just go and cycle. Things go through cycles. Five of Cups in reverse. There's an emotional outpouring here connected with whatever this feeling of loss is. Now, where it's going to bring you after this um, period that we're reading for, it's going to bring you to the Seven of Cups, which I see as an opportunity to restabilize, holding on to what you have versus um, dropping it. You know, you, you just came from this energy Five of Cups, upside down, emotions pouring out. So I'm going to hypothesize that this means we're learning to control the emotions. We're holding them a little closer to ourselves. There's um, a face coming from out of whatever behind this person. And there's additional cups. It just feels to me like there's spirit or wisdom or intuition coming through from behind over the crown chakra with two additional cups. So I, I feel like that's enlightenment. That's wisdom coming. Wisdom is teaching this person who's gone through this upheaval is teaching this person to hold those emotions stable, right? Steadium. And then spirit is coming through and saying, I'm going to help you with these additional two cups of upright, stable emotion. It's kind of like if I reach out and ask spirit for help with this, they're going to come in and they're going to help stabilize the situation, however they do that, and it will help to resolve. You know, this is about a spiritual journey, guys. Let's look at the last row. Two of wands, upright. Wait, was that always upright? I thought it was in reverse. Okay, weird, right? Um, two of Wands Upright. I love this card. I love this card so much. It's a great card. It's this card in this deck, though, because the Two of Wands doesn't really move me in the regular deck, but this particular card deck that I'm using, it's just so peaceful. I feel like this is coming back to center. You know, if your Four of Wands was in Collapse, and your Empress and and Queen of Wands energy was upside down and re and you went through this period of upheaval, I feel like at the end of this happening, whatever it is that's happened in your life that's been causing trouble since the full moon, this Two of Wands upright tells me that you're kind of landing 
face to face with at least one other person who can mirror back to you who you are and what is good about you. Because this is like almost like a twin flame energy. It's like a two of cups in this deck, right? Finding um, a match to your energy right there. Towers in reverse. It's all over, guys. Whatever tower fell. Yes, there you're dealing with the soured milk, right? I don't know why that is what I came up with, but there's some soured milk here. The aftermath, right? And then um, what comes of it is this King of Pentacles. I feel that somebody is being rewarded for going through this difficult situation. Maybe a lot of somebody's. Maybe, maybe a lot of people in a lot of situations were impacted through this period of time from the uh, full moon forward to um, to grow through this situation and change. And I'm gonna. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say to, to be given financial benefit or, or with, or um, give, they're getting a gift they're receiving. It could be something inside of themselves or it could be outside of you. The pe pentacles, King of Pentacles is about money. You know, there could be some financial reward. Maybe if this is a work situation that you're not, that's been tentative and you weren't sure how you're going to land on your feet. This card is an indication to me that you are and you're going to do better because of your boldness, your willingness to put yourself out there. You know, this is going to reap financial rewards. Um, if it's something else, you can, you know, look at these pentacles as other types of rewards, spiritual rewards, emotional rewards, mental rewards, you know, acquiring a degree after like long periods of working towards it, something like that. Um, so this is really beautiful energy, guys. I don't have any Oracle cards warmed up. So if you can just hang on a second, let's get a Michael card. I've been working with my Archangel Michael deck. I love this card deck. I really do. Um, and for whatever reason, I found it not that long ago. And I've been bringing it to work with me. And I've been just leaning on that Archangel Michael energy and what kind of support can my Archangel Michael give us to recuperate and recover at this time? This situation is already resolved, guys. I love that. The situation is already resolved. Like I said, like we're, we're at the tail end of it. The new moon, the full moon, I don't know why I keep saying the new moon. The full moon was quite a while ago, you know? So I'm just going to read from the book. This card comes to you as a reassurance that the situation you're inquiring about is happily concluded. Keep in mind, we saw happily concluded. We saw it here. This is where you landed, okay? This is the emotions becoming stabilized. This is the um, efforts bearing fruit, but you now you, you're in a situation of pausing. It's a time of pause. The angels have been working behind the scenes to heal the source of your concerns. Once again, as I said, when I told you about this card, their spirit is working behind the scenes here to help stabilize these emotions. Um, so the angels have been working behind the scenes to heal the source of your concerns. The source, guys, healing the very source of the issue. Nothing could be better than that. Do you want a Band-Aid or do you want a cure? That's why I should have titled this reading. Although you may not see how the issue has been resolved, trust that it has. Let go of worries and relax with the certainty that all is well. I couldn't have said it better. Namaste. Mm. 